hello everyone so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will discuss how we can check if a ptf is present in a pride on the ibms system so there are two ways to do this the first way is to use the spptf command uh, where we have parameters like product ptf number to select and release and cover letter only and output so there i can pass uh, let's say if i don't remember uh, these things so I can pass star all star all star all to show all the informations that we have on the system or all the pro, uh, the loaded or uh, PTFs that were available on the system so I can either go with the DSP PTF command so I don't have the authority so I cannot show you the demo so I have written it out here to let you know uh, so that you get to know the basic idea Another way is the uh, to get the QSYS2. We have the view QSYS2 slash PTF underscore info. So again, I would tell you that I don't have the authority, so I am not able to run this because I don't have the authority on this command is to PTF. So, but this view is available that we can uh, use in our uh, programs or SQL RPGLE programs. So this view will give me the information whether a PTF is applied, loaded, or uh, any other status of a PTF. So this has several columns. And uh, for your information, that uh, how we'll check this, uh, we, we should have to pass the PTF ID only uh, to get the information whether this PTF is applied loaded or any other status on the system so ptf underscore id is the field name that's an alternative field name the long name is ptf underscore identifier so select a star from qsys2 dot ptf underscore info where this ptf underscore identifier equals to your ptf id and uh, we have one parameter that is uh, loaded underscore status or the load stat the short name and that's the long name. So that can have several values like not loaded, which means the PTF is not loaded yet on the system. Loaded, which means the PTF is loaded on the system. Applied means the PTF is applied on the system, but that is temporarily applied. Permanently applied means it is permanently applied. Permanently removed means it is removed from the system. Damaged means it is damaged while installing the PTF. Uh, superseded means uh, uh suppose a ptf is installed on the system and that ptf uh, has some id ptf id and that is superseded by some other ptf because a recent or a, a higher version of the ptf came or that basically have the enhanced things so that ptf is superseded by some other ptf so we can get that information ptf underscore superseded by underscore ptf column uh, we pass the ptf id to this table to this view and we will get the all list of the columns where one of the column is ptf underscore superseded by ptf which will tell me whether it is superseded or not so if it is superseded means if the load status is superseded then we can check for this column and then that column will give me the superseded ptf id and from there i can uh, i can then again that id then i can again query that id here and i can get the status of that superseded uh, ptf whether that is permanently applied or applied or loaded whatever the status will be so the, this chain may go on that superseded ptf may again have the superseded ptf so let me so that's all here uh but let me show you uh, this dsp 50 information of this so that will basically let you know the fields so you can see the license program here that is the ptf id Or PTF underscore product underscore ID fee. Then you can see the product options and the PTF product option two, PTF product release level. These are the fees that this view has, 
and PTF product description, uh, PTF ID, that was the license program, PTF ID, uh, PTF lease level, PTF loaded status, that column that I was telling, PTF product load, PTF save file, PTF cover letter, PTF on order, PTF IP election. So this uh, this column is basically when any IPL happens. So it basically tells what uh, would be the status or what happens with the PTF applied on system uh, when the next IPL happen. Uh, it would. So that's that's the one thing. PTF action pending. PTF action required. PTF IP required. PTF is released. PTF minimum level, maximum level, PTF superseded by one. So this was the column that I was telling. Uh, so if any PTF has the superseded PTF, then I can get the name from here and then I can query to check if it is permanently applied or not. So another information is like creating timestamp, PTF later superseded PTF, creation timestamp, PTF technology refresh, PTF, PTF temporary applied timestamp so that's all the columns we have in this ptf underscore view so that's an view that is an lf the side thing uses to like so that's all uh, here in this video thank you and have a nice time